Hey everyone, now I want to analyze the chart. Since most of the charts, they have a similar movement, I try to put most of them together, okay? First, I start with the Bitcoin. As we can see, the Bitcoin, the price dropped sharply. Then there was a reversal and most of the charts, as I mentioned, they have a similar movement. And if we refer to our analysis, first we refer to the Bitcoin. Since the price, we get the drop. Some of them, they could, they could break the previous low, some not. But anyway, we have been for the reversal and this is what we get. That's why I try to put everything to, in relative to each other because most of the charts, almost 90% of the charts, what I have here, not all the charts, I mean, other than this, what, other than what we're looking for, they have the similar movement. That's why I try to put in a one video, all right? As we mentioned, basically, for the Bitcoin traders, they can refer. The only thing is in this analysis, I refer to the Bitcoin because, uh, I mentioned the rest of the chart, they have a similar movement, but for the Bitcoin, we had the separate analysis, the traders, they can refer to that. And if we move to the ZRX, all right, the first thing is, again, we have been looking for buy since the price was within this move and what we get here. We wanted to see the breakout of the previous top. Almost the price tag, but it couldn't continue. Then what I do is I take out all my trades in the profit. And right now I'm looking at this. We want to see whether this is the start of the up move or the price can, I mean, the, we can look for the continuation and start of the down move because if we move to daily chart, we mentioned we can expect the price to consolidate here for a longer time before we get the reversal, all right? That's why whatever the trade we get based on four hour chart or one hour chart, we have to start to manage because I can, this is what we can look for flat. That's why if I want to look for buy, I have to get the bigger correction here for continuation. If not, if this one is right, since the price drop was really sharp, either we can expect the price to retest the previous low or turn to a deeper correction. That's why whatever the trade I have, I take out, the I take out in the profit and I wait for the bigger correction before I look for the next trade. Mostly I'm referring to the buy. And if I see there is a continuation with the flag, this is where I'm going to look for sell. That's why whoever get the trade within this, if they want to still, they want to keep the trade, at least book some profit or move the rest of loss to break even. And if I move to the next one is IOTA, we have similar movement. Same explanation as I give. All right. XMR, quite different, but the movement is same. Whoever get the trade, move the rest of loss to break even. Because most of the charts, they have a similar movement as a Bitcoin and mostly because of this, all right? And how about if I will move to the XTZ? Similar explanation. We have to take, manage the trades because all of them we have been looking for the trade after the price, either the broke or not the lowest price. I mean, this is what we get, okay? I don't need to explain for one by one. All of them, they have a similar explanation. We wanted the price to break the previous top Almost some of them is tag, some of them is break. And the only thing is whoever get the trade within this move, they have to move their sub loss to break even at least. But for me, some of them, I try to take out the profit and some I book profit. It doesn't mean I take out the trade, okay? And how about if I move to DOT, similar explanation. For here, I suggest we take out the profit, okay? Because the way is dropping is quite different, all right? And we cannot look for any trade. Wait for the big correction, either buy or sell. If we see there is a continuation with the flag, this is where we can look for sell. Right now we cannot sell and we cannot buy. Next one, trailing, similar explanation. All of them, they have a similar movement. The only difference is whether, the, if we refer to the previous law, which I referred, some of them break, some not. This is the only difference. Dash, similar, manage the trades, okay? That's why I try to put everything in relative to each other. I mean, in a one analysis, because all of them have a similar movement, similar explanation. Mostly, we have to see the bigger consolidation before we get the reversal based on the daily chart. And even if you move to forward chart, we see whether, the, because technically we can look for this one as a flat. That's why we have to get the correction here for continuation. Right now, simply we cannot jump, mostly for buying. All right, then what's the next? We go to 
one similar movement. And what I see here, if there is a continuation with the flag, technically we can expect the price drop some more. How about if I move to uni? Same movement, but this one is a quite different. Almost the price tag near to the previous stop, the price could break, but overall is same movement. If I move to daily chart, all right, we can expect for big correction consolidation. And we see if there is a, we, we, since the forward chart is what we get is quite sharp. We see to get a correction for continuation. We don't want to buy at the top because almost at the top of this correction. Okay, that's why we need to be quite careful right now. And for me, we don't have any trade setup either for buy or sell. Because what I see here, if this one corrects some more, we can expect to get one more drop. All right. I don't think this is a good idea to look for trade, especially if anyone, if anyone wants to look for sell, they can, because but they consider it as a short term. Since most of the charts, they have a similar movement. Mostly they follow the Bitcoin. If I move to wave, this, could, this one is quite different. The price could then because they were because of simply because of this correction, but the overall is same. But the only question different that the price couldn't take this one, it couldn't break 20. But explanation is same, no, no different. Okay, and here we did the next one and care similar explanation, same because all of them we see the similar. I don't need to explain one by one. All right, if this one give me a correction, we can look for short term sell. Why? Because selling at the top, in case this one is a flat, it, in terms of the risk and reward, it can give us a really good trade setup. The best thing is whoever get the trade within this move, they have to start to manage, all right? But for buy, we see the big correction. Right now, we don't have any sell setup if we get, all right? And how about the next one? Similar explanation. And whenever we see this kind of the corrective move, technically, we can expect the price to drop. But sometimes it doesn't mean we have, it doesn't give us a confirmation either buy or sell because any move we get is a sharp move up or sharp move down, but mostly we can get the price to drop. And even if the price drop or move, sharply move up, that's mean either up move or down move, we cannot get any trade, all right? That's when we cannot say we want to buy or sell within this, but mostly we can look for down move. Again, this is not independently. Most of the charts, they have a similar movement and mostly they're following their Bitcoins and other charts. Mostly I think they, they follow the Bitcoin, all right? That's why any trade from now, we need to be quite careful. We cannot simply jump. And how about if I move to that? This one is a bit different. The only thing is because of this, but overall explanation is same. They have a similar movement. If I move to daily chart, we can expect to consolidate here simply because of this sharp move down. Okay. And if I move to forward chart, right now, the only thing is maybe they'll be looking for this one. The only thing is the way this formed the flat because internally is get the different. And if we want to explain in terms of the analysis, we can expect to give us one more drop. That's mean we can expect this one. We will be within this channel for longer time. But as I mentioned, they have a similar movement. That's why whoever get the trade within this move, they have to start to manage. They should start to manage, not they have to. And if he wants to look for a next trade, wait. We cannot simply buy. And what's the next chart? I want to like, check. The similar movement, no much different. The price tag, the previous stop, Bitcoin gold. Exactly all of them, they have a similar movement. Can we expect this is the start of the down move? If I move to 15 minutes, it's not really good to look for sell. Okay, wait. We, we don't want to simply buy or sell. The only thing is we have to start to manage similar movement. No different. That's why I don't want to explain one by one. All right, the only things, this one have a quite different because the correction is here. The price haven't even reached the correction than what we have based on daily chart. Same explanation, the price can, ex we can expect the price to consolidate here for a longer time before we get the reversal. That's why if I move to forward chart, if I want this one, the way it drop is really, 
I mean, it dropped more than what, I mean, the way it's forming is quite different, but overall we can look for the flat, okay? That means if there is a drop, the possibility of the price to retest the previous low is very less, but we can expect this one turn to a deeper correction, okay? That's why whoever get the trade, they have to take out the trade right now. And for next trade, do we have to wait? We don't have any trades at all. Similar explanation, no different. Sam, most of the charts, they have a similar movement. That's why they are following each other. We don't know whether they're trying to manipulate or not. Mostly they follow the Bitcoin, but not the way right now they're following because the way is forming, all of them, they have a similar movement. And after we get this down move. That's why I try to put everything. They have a similar explanation. Then explanation is we have been looking for buy. For example, most of them, we get this move. The best thing is to go the trade in the profit. And for the next trade, either buy or sell, wait for the big correction. If the price move either up move or down move without giving us a trade setup, just let it go. We wait for the next trade because mostly we have a flat. We need to confirm with this. Anyway, we just follow the chart. We, in this case, if I see any update, any confirmation for any of the chart for the next move, I will share. Thanks.